while we have you here, could you summarize for us the uh, benefits that a woman would would experience from going through your book, looking at these images in a three-dimensional perspective, and how that can actually benefit or uh, maximize her awareness of what a healthy breast and a diseased breast looks like? Right. So this is really an ideal book for anyone, um, professional and lay people, who want to learn about the breast structure, structure and function in health and disease. So this book helps to make anybody become familiar with the appearance of basic structural elements. There are four basic structural elements the gland, the milk duct, and the supporting adipose tissue, fat and connective tissue in a three-dimensional way. Now then, after that, you ca they can understand if there is an excess amount of fluid or excess amount of tissue, benign or malignant, how would that lead to the development of benign or malignant disease? So when they have, for example, a serous nipple discharge that spontaneously comes up, they would understand that there are two or three options and then the communications with, communication with the physician is going to be much easier. Or the most frequently occurring so-called breast disease, it's so frequent that we shouldn't even call it a disease, the fibrocystic change, the cysts, how come that they develop in middle-aged women, why does it hurt, why do they get it, and how can this be very simple, simply handled with diagnosis and treatment. So the, our purpose is that we increase the level of knowledge about an organ, what it looks like in normal and in benign and malignant diseases.